Good afternoon. My name is Bob Gallagher. I'm the mayor of the city of Bettendorf, Iowa. Today is Friday, July 3rd, 2020. Welcome to beautiful Palmer Hills Golf Course, where the work behind me to my left is going on to create our 18-hole putting course, a unique opportunity, one of a kind here in the Quad Cities region. To my right is our driving range, a great opportunity to sneak over during lunch, try to straighten out my drive, and figure out how to play this game a little bit better. This is also a great opportunity for something for you all to do this weekend. Unfortunately, we've had to cancel all of our old fashioned 4th of July festivities. That means we will not have our parade or our vendors or our live bands and we will not have fireworks for our 4th of July here in Bettendorf. Like all other cities in this area, we have canceled those festivities and I'm sorry to report that to you. I am just as disappointed as are you all. In fact, maybe more so. Council and I look forward to the parade each and every year and the opportunity to serve you ice cream at our street fest. It is truly the best day of the year here in Bettendorf, Iowa, a great day for families. Now, if you intend to light off your own fireworks this 4th of July, remember that they can only be lit today from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. and tomorrow from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. Please be careful. You don't want our firefighters to be an uninvited guest to your gathering. If you need to report those who are illegally shooting off fireworks, you can do so by calling 911. Please report the specific location of those using the fireworks, if at all possible. Our tool chest, if you will, for the police department is varied and we will take care of the issue at your request. We wanna make sure everybody is safe and those fireworks are being lit between 2 p.m. today and 11 p.m. today, or 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. tomorrow. Please be a good neighbor. Be courteous of those dogs and cats in your neighborhood, possibly those with post-traumatic stress disorder. It's really important that you remember those rules between 2 p.m. and 11 p.m. on the 3rd and the 4th. Also, those lit lanterns are never allowed in Bettendorf. So don't send any of those into the sky this weekend, please. Now, we have a good question that I wanna read for you and try to give an answer to our friend, Kathy Lanham. Kathy writes, why is Governor Reynolds closing testing locations and not reporting as number, uh, numbers as frequently as she was at the beginning of the pandemic? Thanks for your question, Catherine. I really think that's a bit of a misnomer and probably a bad rumor. At the beginning of the pandemic, reporting was very difficult and now we've got a great opportunity in the coronavirus.iowa site. This site is very, vast and completely changes our ability to get information about the coronavirus here in Iowa. You can track tests, positive tests, negative tests, recovered patients, ICU beds that are available, hospital beds that are available, and you'll have a vast majority of all the information you might want at your fingertips. So check out that coronavirus.iowa website. Also, the Testing sites have not changed. In fact, they've increased <clears throat> around the state, excuse me. Our testing site at North Park Mall remains open. In fact, if you go to that website, testiowa.com, put in your name and the fact that you wanna be tested for any reason or no reason at all, you'll get tested. And probably within an hour or two, you can take your QR code given to you at testiowa.com and go get your test for free. You'll get your results in 24 to 48 hours on average. And we've had great results with our Test Iowa site. It may be moved in the future because it's lack of use. Even though our numbers are climbing a little bit here in the Quad Cities, there's no need for alarm. You can get tested at testiowa.com as long as that site is here. We have the capacity to do about 500 tests there, but only around 100 to 150 people are interested in getting tested. So the governor's office may move that to another hotspot location within our state. As we move forward, remember COVID-19 remains in our community. Therefore, you must remain vigilant. Please, if you don't have to go out, choose not to go out. If you can't be six feet apart, maybe wear a mask. Keep yourself and your friends and neighbors safe from this pandemic. And until we meet again, please stay six feet apart and symptom free.